Make this adorable mouse ballerina you'll need. Felting wool. I'm using the core white wool for the head and body and a little bit of black wool for the eyes. You also need a felting needle. I have the felting needle set that includes different needles and other tools and a sponge board. But you really need one needle to do this project, unless you're prone to breaking needles like me. You also need white pipe cleaners to make the movable body and the white felt fabric for the ears. To create the head, I'm going to take some wool and roll it into a ball. Then, I'll take my needle and stab the wool while rotating it. I'll continue to stab and mold the shape. I want to create an egg shape for a head. If you stab it too much in one spot, like I did here, you can take some more wool and cover it up. I want my mouse to have a pointy nose, so I will continue to stab the edge while rotating the head. To create the ears, I'm cutting out a square, which I will cut into two identical triangles. Then, I'm cutting out teardrop shapes out of the triangles. Use the needle and thread to sew the ears to the head. Now I'm going to add the eyes. With the needle I'm marking where I want the eyes to be. I'm taking the tiny amount of black wool and rolling it into little balls. I'm taking the eyes of the needle and stabbing it lightly where it created the eye holes. For the nose, I'm taking some white wool and creating a small ball. I'm continuing to roll the ball and stabbing it with the needle to make it feel firmer. Carefully, without hurting my fingers, I'm attaching the nose to the head. Now I'm lightly stabbing the whole head. To create the body, I'm taking the pipe cleaner and cutting 8.5 cm for the legs, 6.5 cm for the arms, and 4.5 cm for the body. To create the arms and legs, I'm taking the piece of wool and wrapping it tightly around the edge of the wire. Because the wire edge is pretty sharp, I folded the edge over and then continued to wrap it with the wool. Do the wrapping for both legs and arms. Attach the middle pipe cleaner to the arms and legs. Take the wool and start wrapping around the body. I'm using the X motion wrapping around the arms, the normal wrapping around the body, and then the X motion around the legs. Adding wool and wrapping it around the body. As you can see here, this is a pretty lengthy process, so be patient. Once there's enough flesh on the body, we can start stabbing it. Continue adding the wool and stabbing it until the full body is formed. When the body feels pretty firm and substantial, I'm going to take a little piece of wool and add a tummy to the mouse. 
First, stab the piece of wool with the needle to add some firmness and then attach it to the body. To create the tail, I'm taking a long piece of wool and rolling it with my hands, periodically stabbing with the needle, but mostly rolling it with my hands. Once it looks like a tail, I'm going to trim it to about 6 cm. Fan out the edge of the tail and using the needle attach it to the body. Make a little booty in similar fashion to how we created the tummy and attach it over the tail. To join the head to the body, we'll need to add the neck. I'm taking some wool and stabbing it first to create some firmness. Then, I'm attaching it to the body by stabbing it and molding it until it looks like a neck. Add the head by holding it firmly to the body and stab all around the neck. Pierce the needle from the neck into the head and then from the head to the neck. Add more wool around the neck and continue stabbing it until the head is attached well to the body. Now I'm going to use my pink blush to add some color to the mouth. I'm lightly dusting the blush over the ears, as well as the nose, hands and feet. I'm also painting the mouth with the blush as well and stabbing it with the needle afterwards to create a crease that forms the mouth. Use the needle and gold thread to sew on the whiskers. To create the tutu skirt, you'll need a thin pink ribbon and a pink tool. Cut enough of the thin ribbon so it can be easily tied around the body with the bow. Now take the tool ribbon and cut it into rectangular strips. I cut about 15 pieces here. Tie the strips onto the ribbon. Fold the ribbon in half and put the folded end under and through to make a slip knot. Repeat the process until the ribbon is full. Tape the ribbon to the working surface area. To simplify the tying process, I so wish I did that. To finish up the mouse, I created a bow and attached it next to the ear. I 
also added a beaded necklace that I created previously. And we're finally done! You can turn the mouse into a Christmas ornament by attaching a ribbon to the head. Or you can use it as a decoration in your house. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please show your appreciation by liking and subscribing below. Please comment on what kind of tutorials you would like to see. Thanks and see you next time!